president, I was at the Natural Resources Council of Maine and worked with them a lot on environmental issues. And I, like middle schoolers at the library, always felt welcomed, always felt I was dealing with someone whose word was her bond, who always gave good guidance. Not always the guidance that I wanted to hear, but always really good guidance. And Beth has set a very high and honorable bar for everyone who serves or would serve in the Maine State Legislature. This brief sentiment reads as follows, be it known to all that we, the members of the Senate and House of Representatives, join in recognizing the honorable Bethida? Bethida. Bethida, thank you. Don't think I've ever said that, I've read it. <laughs> G. Edmonds of Freeport, former member of the Maine State Senate and two-term Senate President, who has been named Freeport Citizen of the Year for substantively contributing to the quality of the town, the well-being of the citizens, and the reputation of Freeport, and for causing a measurable improvement in the circumstances of a significant number of townspeople. We extend our congratulations and best wishes, and be it ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 129th legislature and the people of the state of Maine, signed by Troy Jackson, President of the Senate, Sarah Gideon, you know, the very own <laughs> Speaker of the House, and Derek Grant, the Secretary of the Senate, and Robert B. Hunt, the Clerk of the House. So, Beth, from all of us in Augusta, thank you. <laughs> middle schoolers and I want to just mention that Beth has done a lot of public things. She's been the public face of the library. She's been the public face of, up at the legislature. But she also has spent a lot of unsung hours assisting youth through uh, what can be a very troubling time. And she took, um, in particular the one that I know of, she took a bunch of awkward uh, 11 and 12 year old girls and taught us how to communicate taught us how to be strong, taught us how to support each other, and taught us that somebody who was older than the age of 16 cared enough to hear what we really had to say. And she spent many an hour with us in her home um, and at the Browns a, a couple of times, as I recall, but just, just letting us know and providing us the life skills that we needed to develop into strong young women. So thank you on behalf of us, and also on behalf of a lot of other young women who I know you have shepherded through the process of developing into um, you know, courageous and women that just like you. It's just so working very well. <laughs> I know we talked, made reference to a role model, and it probably was mom to some degree. We had a great mom. Um, so she's definitely. <laughs> Thank you for honoring Let's see. I laid awake last night thinking about what I might say. Um, my husband Dan remembers many nights when I was in the legislature when he would have to get me to laugh because I'd be thinking, how are we going to find $60 million? <laughs> or something. I don't even know. Um, I guess what I want to say is um, this town has been a, a, an immense support to me. Um, Vicki Lowe got me in the door of the library. Thank you very much. Um, she whispered in my ear, why don't you apply for this part-time job? <laughs> um, the town itself opened their families to me. I wasn't able to have children, but I feel like I've been able to have lots of young people in my life that I've treasured every bit of. And, um, you know, the town council, a different set of people, but the same good folks, um, agreed to let me be senator and still hold my job at the library, which was the only way I could have managed it. Dale did say that he thought it was good to have a Senate president as his employee. <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> Not that he ever asked me to do anything special, I must say. Um, 
But I also want to say that there are women in this room that <coughs> I've known since I came to Maine who've been beside me in all the work we've done around um, women and girls, and I appreciate them very much. Um, all of them. Why? <laughs> um, and I don't, I was just, we were, Martha Lee, my, my cousin Martha Lee is here too, we were, we were shopping today, um, and she was just saying what a lovely town this is, and I think it's not just lovely, but it's thoughtful, um, we put money where money needed to be put um, to build good schools, to build a great library, to, to make places for people to gather, um, to support other people. And we've always done it with an open heart, as far as I can tell. And I deeply appreciate all of you and this town for giving me the opportunity to do the things I've been able to do. And um, I never treasure this. Thank you very much. <laughs>